AACSB asks that a business school, as it prepares for accreditation, think about its distinctiveness, which doesn't mean it has to be unique, but it does have to be distinctive. And so as individuals, we are distinctive. There are things that make us special. There are things that make us different than everybody else, and so do institutions. And for you to attract students, they have to know what you stand for. And so if you talk with people who are very much involved in marketing, they say, okay, what's your core audience? It doesn't mean that you don't appeal to other people, but you have to be able to know what is your target market, what are you going after, because you have to be sensitive to their needs. And if you don't understand what your distinctiveness is, and you can't market that, it makes you look watered down and inauthentic because you're trying to craft a message that's appealing to everybody everywhere, and that never works. LinkedIn was one of the platforms in which professors, faculty, deans, and even administrators can use to increase their professional brand. But I'm extremely active on Twitter and Facebook. Uh, the only place I'm not active is on Snapchat. Can't quite get with that yet. Uh, but it's an ideal about connecting with students. So you're absolutely right. I get lots of things from students on Instagram in particular. Uh, it's a place that we share in common. And I think you have to be intentional. Everybody's not comfortable doing that. And so I come up with weird, quirky ways that on the face may have nothing to do with academia. However, depending upon what type of institution, what type of brand you're trying to cultivate, you can do that. And if you can appear to be authentic and if you can appear to be progressive and or cool or uh, align with your mission, which is most important, and then have an AACSB brand on top of that, that's icing on the cake because what you've done is you've connected on a personal level, which is often emotional, but you also have to connect on a rational level because somebody has to pay the bills for you to go to that school. And if you can say that you're an AACSB accredited institution, it means that not only is this crazy dean with crazy socks in my case over there, but you know what? That school's a good school. I think that sometimes we forget, as deans though, that we're not just managing people, we're not just managing uh, budgets. Uh, part of our job is to extend the brand of the school, uh, to make sure that we are able to maintain and hopefully increase enrollment.